right, so I went to a Braves game recently and watched my uh, child sing the national anthem with her high school chorus. Uh, this is the second time she's appeared uh, with her high school chorus. The fourth time she sung the anthem at uh, Truist Park. Uh, she did it in, in elementary school. She did it in middle school as well. Uh, while I was at the game, I picked up a 2024 Tops team set of the Atlanta Braves. And uh, if you recall, like in 2011 here with uh, Freddie Freeman, uh, sometimes they have variations in these team sets like they did in 2011. You see on the back of this card, it's numbered ATL 11 rather than card number four, uh, 145. So, you know, Freddie appeared in series one as card number 145 and then they created this variation which I honestly prefer to the uh, the actual rookie card in any event um, 2024 top series one came out uh, months and months ago and uh, there's quite a few players that appear in series one that also appear in the team set but there's also some omissions and uh, uh, certainly none of the leaders cards certainly none of the multiplayer cards but um, some of the others appear in the team set, and uh, some of them, uh, I'm wondering if we're seeing like a preview of Series 2, or whether some of these cars are going to have uh, different variations in Series 2. So let's just walk through a few of them. So the the card of Ronald Kenyon Jr. appeared in Series 1, and it looks the same. You know, the card number is ATL1. It's the only distinction. Uh, the same applies to Spencer Strider in card number 2. Ozzy Albies does not appear in Series 1, so I'm wondering if this will be the card we see in Series 2. I like it. Uh, I think it's an interesting picture. Uh, Von Grissom appears in uh, the team set. He is not on the team. He's not on the roster. He was traded, uh, I guess, to the Red Sox. As a matter of fact, Chris Sale came over in that trade, uh, and Von Grissom went over there along with the, uh, some others. Um, Chris Sale actually ended up starting the game that I watched that my uh, child sang the national anthem in. And Vaughn Grissom played in that game as well, too, for the Red Sox. So maybe we'll see that image and he'll just be in a different uniform. Uh, either they'll uh, Photoshop the Red Sox jersey over that uniform or they'll have a new picture. This is Austin Riley. He was not in Series 1, but he's ATL 13 in the team set. And here's Eddie Rosario, who also is not on the Braves uh, um, uh, roster. Um, I'm not even, I'm, actually, I'm not even entirely sure where he's playing anymore. I think he was a free agent, so I'm not sure where he ended up. And uh, A.J. Minter, of course, is on the 40-man roster currently. Uh, and uh, Colby Allard. This was puzzling. I really did not expect to see him in the team set. He's not on the roster. Uh, I'm not sure he's even on a staff anywhere in baseball at the moment. And this is Rysel Iglesias, uh, who is our closer. So I'm glad they included him in the team set because he's obviously very integral into the current roster. But you can see it's uh, he didn't appear in Series 1, so perhaps this will be the image they select in Series 2. I think it's a good one. I would really be interested in picking up this one um, you know, that photo image variation without any of the logos and without the uh, borders and what have you. So this is what the team set looks like. And, you know, the entire first row and um, the first three cards in the second row, as a matter of fact, they all appear in Series 1. The rest of the cards are unique to this set at the moment. We'll see in Series 2. A couple other 2024 sets worth looking at really briefly. Um, this is Topps Big League. It's a very uh, peculiar set. It has a mix of uh, common cards like this, of Ronald Acuna Jr., the lower numbers. And then they have these, uh, what they call, uncommon foil cards. So they're slightly more scarce, but the Ozzy Alpes is one of those cards. Then they have these, uh, what they call rare uh, blue foil cards. I'm not entirely certain how rare they are. It didn't seem that difficult to pick up. Uh, this is Austin Riley. He was one of the blue, uh, rare blue foil cards as well. Um, the uh, red super rare was, you know, slightly more difficult to get, and it was a little pricey. And then there's even a, um, like a legendary gold 
full version and of uh, Phil Necro that I still need to acquire. And I need to pick up the uh, Orlando Arcia uh, common card as well. But this is what the big league team set looks like. It's a mix of uh, mostly common cards and then these uh, quote unquote um, uncommon foils, uh, rare blue foils, super rare red foils, and these uh, legendary gold foils. Uh, another interesting set I picked up recently, Tops Now um, uh, opening day uh, a set, uh, team set, or road to opening day, I guess is what they actually call it. But uh, it, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of interesting set. It does come with uh, one numbered car. I was fortunate enough to get Ronald Acuna Jr. This is numbered to 99. Uh, most of the other cards are just, you know, standard variation. I did get... Um, you could also get like two bonus cards. Uh, uh, I think just two. I know I've gotten two thus far. Uh, I got uh, uh, Max Fried and uh, Travis Darno, and, and hopefully, I guess we'll. I think I guess that's part of this presentation, so we'll see that in just a second. But the cool part of this is, you know, you get to get some uh, first cards of players that are new to the team, like Chris Sale. Now, the 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 uh, spring training jerseys are in hats and everything were a little unique uh, from our typical uniform so it's it's a little unusual to see them with the red caps and the, those unusual blue shirts but this is one of the bonus cards I was talking about you see it's numbered a little differently ODB6 and I guess each team had at least two bonus cards and uh, these were sent to me uh, after I got the uh, the opening day team set and they actually uh, arrived independently of one another so I got card six and then I got card seven but uh, this was a good game that Max Free pitched. He, uh, they called it a Maddox, which kind of amused me because uh, I think he only threw 92 pitches. But he actually got pretty deep uh, into the game. I guess he went seven, six or seven uh, no-hit innings. And then um, I guess it was six. And then uh, um, regrettably we gave up the no-hitter with two outs in the ninth inning. Uh, and a home run, but luckily we held on to the game and, and still defeated the Mets. But this is the team set, the opening day team set, and uh, you can see Chris Sale is a new addition. Well, the rest are kind of mainstays, so they they hit the you know the the highlights on the team, and then they threw in AJ Smith Schaffer because you know he's a rookie card and and uh, he was debatable whether he was going to be the fifth starter. Uh, during the season, I think he's gonna he's gonna get an opportunity to pitch a few times this season. This is 2024 Topps Heritage, and uh, this is card number one, and it's one of the short prints. They kind of did the short prints a little differently. They did them in the in the first 100 cards of the set, and uh, this is an example of their MVP cards. Uh, this is Aaron and Mantle, of course, and uh, this is Chipper Jones and Yvonne Rodriguez as well. And this is what uh, Ronald Acuna Jr.'s card looked like. And again, they used the same design. The color was a touch off. And I, I guess I'll show an example of that in a second. But I did like that they integrated the uh, all-star star, star uh, as they did in 1975 as well. And here's what I'm talking about. The colors just weren't quite right. They all have a little bit too much yellow in them. Uh, the yellow looks very similar to the other yellow, but you can see that the purple actually comes off almost as magenta and uh, and the uh, magenta in the originals look I don't know it's, it's it's got kind of a yellow like I said it's got a yellow tone to, to everything and the colors just weren't quite right and the back was a little too glossy so uh, they did mix up or mix and match the colors uh, when they recreated some of the MVP cards uh, I do like how the uh, the new cards are sharper in registration, so you can actually make out the details of uh, Aaron's face and even, uh, to a certain extent, uh, Mantle's face, whereas in the originals in 1975, you can see it's very, very difficult to make out uh, their faces. It's just very blurry. Uh, this is what the uh, entire 2024 Topps Heritage set looks like. I've included the uh, leaders cards and the MVP cards. and. Uh, Similar to the old st style, the um, 
but like I said, the color is ever so slight off, and I think they used uh, brown a little bit uh, too commonly and maybe uh, shorted the orange. Uh, I thought uh, this is how the set actually appeared in 1975. So you can see the, the color variations are uh, similar, but they are not the same. The greens aren't the same, the purples aren't the same, the magentas aren't the same. Uh, it's just uh, similar, but different. Still, really looked forward to that set. I have picked up uh, the minis as well, and I'm trying to complete the Braves team set of minis. The minis do not uh, seem to include uh, some of the um, insert cards, uh, but they do seem to include all the leader cards and the MVP cards. So That's all I have. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you later. See ya.